Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more watching My Hero Academia, the anime. This is episode two of the Embers, uh, not the Embers, the Memories, uh, it's titled Embers. Um, the Memories sort of recap, uh, not filler, but uh, it's like a bridge between everything that's happened so far in My Hero Academia, leading up to season seven. Um, sorry for getting this out so late. Originally, I was going to record this on Saturday afternoon that it came out. Um, but, uh, I, I ended up recording the newest, uh, manga chapter during the time I thought I would record this and then it got kind of pushed back and then work and all that. So I'm recording it now on Friday morning and then the third episode comes out tomorrow. I know I'm late. Um, so thank you for your patience. Um, my mindset was like, these are cool. Like these are definitely cool, but they're not like, I need to um, immediately get these out sort of thing. Um, because 90 five percent of these are just uh recap granted they do a good job with the recap and it is cool to see the few new scenes kind of like interwoven between it all of it all of it um but you know what i mean like it's not it's it, as for me who's someone who reads the manga and has already seen the whole show a few times like um it's not really meant for me per se although i am like a total nerd for the series so it kind of maybe is but uh, yeah, I'm I'm still excited to watch them, and uh, I told you guys I'd watch every single one, and I will be. Uh, I'm watching this on Crunchyroll. If you want to see the uncensored version, um, you know, link in the description for the Patreon. I can't post that version with the audio and all that stuff on YouTube; it just won't let me. So it's on Patreon. Uh, also, I have my boy All Might, his fist raised Camino Ward uh, uh, statue. It's perfect for this episode because uh, this is from First Four Figures, by the way. He's like. 14 inches tall he's pretty tall he's made out of resin um where's the pvc i think it's part pvc part resin but anyway um that's cool glad to have him here uh, his eye lights up actually but i don't have him plugged in right now so um yeah i i'd imagine this episode's this episode's named is toshinori yagi uh embers which he's my boy my favorite character so i imagine we'll probably get that pose in this um yeah, uh, hitting record on the Patreon version, like in the description if you want it. Let us begin in three, two, one, go. <clears throat> there he is. I'm glad, I'm glad All Mike gets a whole episode dedicated to himself. That's pretty nice. And this is all new stuff right away, so that's cool. You know, I understand Night Eye's importance to the story, but I was never the biggest fan of him. Is that weird? Yeah, he read his future. He said not to do that. Oh! This is new music. Pretty sure this is new. That's one thing that these are cool for. They do have like new music that's probably going to be in season seven. Maybe this isn't new. Maybe maybe I'm just haven't heard it in a while. That's a that's still a great shot. <sighs> oh, oh, that's a good transition. Oh, that was good. That was good. Hmm. Twist fate with you, baby. No, they're doing season two, opening one. Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, I love this intro. This is my friend's, my friend who only watches one anime because I made him watch this and he likes my hero because of it. This is his favorite intro. And like, to be honest, this is a pretty damn, like, 
I don't dare like try to mimic, you know, singing it, but oh, it's so good. This brings me back, man. This was the last season that I didn't read the manga. Um, because that season one came out, I watched it. Season two came out, I watched it. And between season two and three, I, I caught up to the manga at that point. Um, and this just brings me back to the time where I didn't know, I didn't know like what was going to happen. And it was just like, and season two is just so goaded. By the way, if you've never heard the full version of this song, I would highly recommend it. There's like a whole second, like there's like three sections to it. And we're hearing the the first section and then it kind of does a second section where it's similar, but not quite a oh, quarter century. Hey, um, and then there's a third section where it kind of goes like, dun, 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 dun. like it goes like a completely different vibe. Uh, I like recommend, recommend looking it up. Hmm. That's good though. I'm glad we got that intro. Doesn't really make sense. Cause we're kind of like past season two content, but. I'm not complaining. Ah, oh, season three was also great. It's really just season four that I had issues with. I mean, I, I, I'm biased. I didn't really care for overhaul and stuff. <clears throat> but it did have one of my favorite fights of all time with Kirishima and Fat Gum versus Rappa. And, of course, the, the camp in the first half was great as well and how my I'm, I'm bearing the lead all might versus all for one it can be an award embers Oh yeah, Bakugo loves winning. A little too much, but yeah, he loves it. Boom. Get that hand off your face. You know, thinking about it now, it's actually impressive that he tanked uh, Explosion. Granted, it probably wasn't among Bakugo's most powerful, but... Four v one. You're goddamn right. He's the man. Unironically, still one of the best shots of all for one, right there. And it comes Edge Shot. Oh, actually, no. Binding Lacquer changed prison first, and then Edge Shot pierces their lungs. Or I guess just uh, Kuragiri's lung. We are here, yeah. <laughs> I miss Buff All Might. I, I don't get me wrong. I love, I love Skinny Toshi, but Big All Might was just a vibe, man. Dun, 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 <laughs> I love the Nomu sounds. They sound like demented birds. <laughs> You know, I, 
back then, back during this time, I still did reactions to the dub version, so I really don't remember the this how the sub sounds for a lot of like seasons one through three. So it's kind of cool hearing it because it's very uncommon to me. Dude, this was hype as shit. I was looking forward to this so much, and they absolutely delivered. Camino Ward, man. My reaction to that episode is actually among my most viewed, um, like, YouTube videos, even to this day. I think it's got, like, like 70,000 views or something? I don't know. It's been a while. It's crazy, like, if you, if, since we're re-watching this, look how skinny and small Nana looks compared to, like, her future iterations. Um, to be fair, back then, all they had to work with was the one like time Horikoshi had shown her in the manga but like she's just so much smaller here she looks almost completely different than how she does currently or like as of late <laughs> <laughs> I love this they're talking shit to each other. Young Bakugo. Dude, I miss the shading on his muscles and stuff. Just what an absolute chad. Hmm. Again, the dialogue. I'm not used to this dialogue because I've always watched this episode in dub for like 90% of my viewings of it, you know? Like. This scene is so. Is it going to show the whole Bakugo scene? I love this. Animation wise, one of the coolest. You see, like, Shigaraki. Oh, I didn't show the Shigaraki shot where he, like, leans in on the camera. It's all like. Oh, that's so good. And I'm pretty sure they play Trinity uh, in the actual scene. So they, this is, they definitely change up the OSTs. This is one of my favorite shots too. Just like the fluidity of it. Like, and then the recoil. Yeah. Oh, Camino Ward, man. They did such a good job. Boom. Man, they're definitely treating this with more of like a, like, kind of fast-paced action, like the music. This is one of the best All Might speeches ever. I love it. Hell yeah. Boom. <laughs> Keep my master's name out of your filthy mouth. I don't know what he says in the, the sub, but the dub, he says that. Oh, I wonder if it'll include uh, footage from the uh, OVA when he was like in America for a little bit and training with, uh, with Gran Torino. I wonder if they'll include that. I'm going to guess no, but that'd be cool. It was like the All Might Rising OVA, right? Which I don't think they've still ever f officially released on anything, which is weird. Maybe it's on some Blu-rays or something. 
Hell yeah. Ah, dude, give me an All Might movie, please. His his journey has been, like, really just... Wonderful tragedy. Damn. I wonder why they were fighting on that island. Like, Okay, yeah, it's basically the same. This is new music, too, right? This is good. Yeah. Man, when the world saw this for the first time, it's just like, uh, and it's crazy because ba- this is Bakugo's first time seeing it too. Like, only Deku knew. Ah. <sighs> Hell yeah, baby. Is it going to show my all-time favorite All Might? Well, not all-time favorite now, but like definitely top three where it's him with the one big buff arm and the lightning is coming out of it. It's like, that's like goaded status for me. That's <laughs> so good. Oh, oh, that's cool. That was a nice new visual. That was not how it was before. That was good. That's totally something I would do. I love how they says in the dub. <laughs> oh, 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 smile now. Where's your smile? <laughs> He's just rubbing it in. What an asshole. Ah. <laughs> uh. God, the freaking mental fortitude of All Might to brush this off and to, like, re- regain his control over the situation, you know? Like, he freaks out right here, but he immediately, like, is able to refocus. It's really impressive, actually. You can win this all night. Yeah. Let's begin the chant. <laughs> I love it. All Might all, will always be the goat to me. Don't get me wrong. I love Deku. I love Bakugo. I love all the other characters. But like the impact All Might had on not just his students, but the world is so cool. So selfless. Here we go. Give me the shot, baby. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it, dude. Just like uh, fighting with the absolute last of your strength, dog. You ain't giving up. Hell no. And the next shot's my favorite one, where the in the original the guitar would be like down right as the lightning strikes, and his arm like is all lightningy. Right here. I still need to see that whole fight, by the way. I will not rest until I see the whole fight. In a movie, perhaps, that'd be great. If you read the manga, you get a little bit more of it, but, like, that's just a god darn tease, I tell you. <sighs> this is really well done. I love how most of the episodes just dedicated to Communal War. Ah, this is new. 
Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. That's a fucking great edit. That is good. All right, I see you. I see you, Memories Episode 2. Dude, I love this MST too. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. This this is what I love this OST, man. Like they kind of over, overplayed it too much after this for certain things that didn't really need it, but like it's still great. <laughs> I always thought it was funny. It's a good thing the world couldn't hear him shouting that. <laughs> I don't know how it didn't happen, but it didn't happen. <laughs> Maybe it was just visual that they had on the scene. Oh my, I am so, I'm so, no matter what happens in the future of mankind, they, they gave Kamina Ward the sauce, the sauce it deserved, man. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Hey, I get to re-react to the United States of Smash. Hey, that's cool. It won't be as uh as first timey as the when I did it years ago, but ah. <sighs> Your origin, baby. I wonder what OST will play for it. Whoa. Whoa, they're going high octane energy on it. Yo! I need this OST immediately. Holy shit. Get him! Bam! I love this. Holy shit. This is amazing. Yeah, there he is. Right there, baby. Oh, about to be. Excuse me. Dude. Oh, this is amazing. This this alone was worth just watching the memories episode. Holy shit. I need this. I need this immediately. The piano? Oh my god, this is so good! What the fuck? <laughs> uh, uh, bro, they have to play this for a certain fight coming in Season 7. I won't say what, but... It's your turn. Wow! Oh! We're getting Long Hope Fil uh, is, is It's called Long Hope Folia or something? Uh, I can't remember the exact name, but this is one of my favorite outros. This is from season four? I think this is from season four. I love this outro. <laughs> oh my god. Like I was not I, mean, I should have expected like new OST, but that one, oh my god. Ah. Uh, that that's new, right? I've never heard that before. If it isn't new, I'm just a freaking idiot and I need to find it immediately, but I'm pretty sure that's new. Man, I'm, I'm refraining from talking about, like, manga stuff in this, because I know there's a lot of anime only as who watch my uh, reactions, so I won't say anything. But I will just say that there is a specific potential, like, I don't know if it'll be in Season 7 or not. It's going to be close. If it is in Season 7, I, I hope they use that music. And maybe that's the tease that they, they meant for. 
like you know it's with, with all might here but like ah uh, that was great I love this ending shot. Mina, all the rest, just on the beach. Long hopefully, yeah, long hopefully, yeah, yeah. Very underrated outro. I love that one. Oh. Oh, it's his uh Hercules. Hercules is the car, right? Oh, 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 ah, it's glowing. <laughs> they know, they know we know. Oh, so the next, okay. Whoa. Yo, oh, this was great. That tease, what the fuck? Why did they do that to me? <laughs> like that, with that tease, it has to be in the season, right? It has to be. Why well, they wouldn't tease it like that otherwise? Oh, so the, okay. So the next episode, convictions. It looks like it's kind of Toga Uraka slash like Todoroki family stuff. Um, cool. Oh, this was this the first the first memories episode. It was solid. It was good. This one was legitimately kind of great. <laughs> Just the music alone and the tease at the end. They wouldn't. There's no way it's not in this like. That, is that how the season's going to end? Okay, so if you're anime only, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I'm going to talk very briefly here about the manga stuff, so uh, click away if you don't want to know. But um, there's no way they don't have... like I, I've always been in my mind, like, okay, where's the season going to end? Is it going to be like right after the Toga Uraka stuff? Or will they be able to get in uh, All Might versus All for One? Um and that tease at the end kind of makes me feel they will. Because why else would you like show it glowing if it's going to be in season 8? That would be such a great way to end the season, though. That fight, I am biased. Like, I'm totally biased when I say this. And I, I fully acknowledge this. Legitimately my favorite fight in the whole series. Because All Might, I love him for so many reasons. But the fact that he's about to fight down his, his arch nemesis yet again being like quirkless and and not only does he like do fairly well but like the dialogue and like the, he names all of his moves after his students like that that's the that's the thing that gets me like it pushes it over the le edge of being like oh this is amazing to oh my god that is like the the definition of of a of, a, of an old man who just loves everything that the next generation, all the students that he's got to know and to teach and to see grow. And he, in his final fight names, his freaking moves after them, not only names them after him, but like genuinely put thought and effort into crafting these moves to, to pay homage to his students. There is something so cool about that. And I, uh, this is, this was great. This is really good. This one took me by surprise. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Uh, again, I won't be getting up at like 2 a.m. to watch the the third episode, but I'll do my, do my best tomorrow after work uh, to come home. So expect like afternoon sometime. I'll, I'll try to get it recorded and uploaded. So hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, it's been Mighty Gazelle. Thank you all. Have a mighty day. See you guys.